welcome to the Daily D and today we have another dessert recipe for you and this is butter brickle it's like a frozen pie kind of thing and uh, we're going to be doing it in steps and the first is the crust you're going to need a nine inch spring form pan and you're going to need one and a quarter cups graham cracker crumbs or cookie crumbs I've chosen the cookie crumbs we just prefer them and you have a quarter cup of white sugar and you're just going to mix this in could have probably done with a little bigger bowl here but um, small kitchen you just make do with what you have once that's kind of mixed up a bit you're going to add one-third uh, butter one-third cup butter that you then melt and then once it's melted it goes into here to make it now I know some people they make uh, the graham cracker right in the the pan that they're putting it in I try and do mine separately just to make sure it's well um, everything's really well together okay it's pretty well mixed so I'm just gonna pour it into here there's probably gonna be some on the bottom not quite mixed that's okay we'll get that taken care of in the bowl here and what I do is I just kind of flick it all around to try and get it somewhat even throughout and this is a little trick I do I just take the bottom of a measuring cup and I just go like this and this helps you tamp it down really quickly without having to use your fingers and get fingerprints all over it And then if you see something on the sides that's sticking up a bit, you can just put that down. Okay, and my oven is set to 350. And this is going to go in the oven for six minutes. And this is just to set the crust. And we'll be back with the rest of the ingredients. Okay, the crust. The spring pouring pan with the crust just came out of the oven. I have it cooling, so we want this to cool completely. And I've turned my oven up from 350 uh, that I had it at for the crust, and I've turned it up to 400. So while that's doing it, we're going to do the, while that's heating up, we're going to do the butter brickle. Now right here we have um, one cup all-purpose flour, three quarters of a cup quick cooking oats, one quarter cup brown sugar, and a half a cup of butter that I've melted, and three quarter cups uh, chopped pecans. So basically all you're going to do is you're going to put all of these ingredients in this bowl. and mix it all together until it's well blended. And then you just keep mixing it. So I've been mixing this for a few min minutes and as you can see it's all kind of like crumbled. And we're just going to empty this out onto the pan. Okay. And if I see a few pieces that aren't mixed in as well, you're just going to fix that. I'm going to move this over and give myself more room. Okay? And you're going to want to pat this out. Onto the pan. Trying to cover it all. This doesn't have to be perfect because you're just spraying.
spreading this out to cook and um, this is going to take about 10 to 15 minutes in the 400 degree oven and you're just going to cook it until it's a light brown and then when you remove it from the oven you are going to crum uh, crumble this all up um, while it's still hot okay so that's done it's going to go in our 400 degree oven we're going to tell you exactly how long we cooked it, but it's usually 10 to 15 minutes, and we'll be right back. So I've taken it out of the oven, and I just used the spoon to crumple it all up. And the purpose of that is just to get that butter and sugar kind of coated onto the, um, the oats and the nuts and that. And this has to cool completely, so we'll be back with the next step. Okay, this is the last step before assembly, and we have um, a, uh, what is it, 8 ounce, I think it's an 8 ounce uh, package of cream cheese. And we're going to just mix this up. Okay, and I'm just going to wipe, wipe down the sides. And I am going to add in a can of sweetened condensed milk. Want to make sure and get it all out of there. And it tends to stick in. Okay. So we're just going to stir up the sweetened condensed milk. Just making sure it's well incorporated. And don't forget to scrape the sides. that's well mixed. I'm going to get rid of our mixer. And now we're just going to uh, fold in some whipped topping. I'm in Canada so this is a one liter container but it's about four cups and you're just going to let it uh, like it's unthawed. So just let it sit out for a little bit. And you're not going to use your mixer at this point. You're just going to gently fold it in. Because you want to keep that uh, fluffiness from the whipped topping. Okay, so this is pretty well folded in, and I'm going to take half of this, and I'm going to put it in the bottom of the springform pan. And don't forget, this has been cooling, so it's cold. You're not going to put this on, um, on a hot, or be, end up being kind of like soup. And it's not going to be a super thick layer either, but you're just going to get about half going. So I've got about approximately half of it spread out. And then I'm going to take about half of the butter brickle and we're going to put this all over that layer.
Okay, now that that's over it, um, if you, I have uh, Smucker's the Caramel Sunday Syrup. If you have the actual like caramel sauce in the jar, use that, but it's not available where I am. So um, you're just going to take the caramel sauce syrup or whatever you have and you're just going to put it both ways all over top of this is this not looking like oh my gosh like give it to me right now put a little bit over there can't miss a big spot okay Next up, we're going to kind of just put this on top, lay it on top. It may, there may be some of the bottom showing, uh, sorry, the uh, caramel sauce layer sh showing through. That's okay. So I have it spread over top and now we're going to go back over with the butter brickle. And one of the great things about this is you can make this in advance and just keep it in the freezer in case you have unexpected company. Or um, if you have a, if you're having company for dinner and you don't want to spend all weekend cooking, maybe do this during the week when you have some time and it's all ready. Okay, that's done. And now we're going to go back to the caramel sauce. Now, I'm not going to use this whole container. And the reason why I'm not going to is because when this is done, when I go to serve a piece, I want to be able to drizzle some uh, fresh caramel over the top of it. And we'll show you that later on in the video. So... You don't have to reserve any, but I just want to make sure when someone eats this, every piece has some of the caramel on it. Okay, now there's still some in here. We're going to set that aside. I'm going to put this in the freezer until it firms up. It's going to be at least a couple of hours, so we'll see you then. So this is it, folks. Doesn't it look amazing? It's like ooey and gooey and the, the layers in here and the chocolate crumb crust. You have to give this a try. And this is perfect to make and just keep away in your freezer for, you know, a couple weeks, month or something in case you have unexpected company. Make ahead or just for dinner one night. Well, not dinner, dessert, you know. Well, I'd eat it for dinner, but you know what I'm saying. So the recipe will be in the description below. If I put it up on my blog, I'll put a link there in the description as well. Don't forget to check all of our recipes. Uh, just click on the recipes playlist, and we hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And until next time, keep baking and cooking.